Hey Roger, good morning and also good morning to Will if you happen to be watching. Uh, I'm glad to uh, do this little video because there's a couple of reasons that it's uh, a little difficult for me to write all this down. Uh, number one is that I'm not particularly good at numbers, Roger's the man for that, but from an overall concept point of view I wanted to talk to you about uh, CYC or the Champagne Yacht Club portion of the Indigo Landing project and to that end I've made some notes here if you don't mind I'm going to refer to them down again but essentially I think that the CYC I'll refer to CYC as the Yacht Club portion um, that the CYC should be regarded as primarily performing three uh, functions and the first and most important of those is as an incentive for people to buy the Indigo uh, Landing Resort Program Fractionals. So we can regard it as being in the same bed as Indigo uh, Landing and as a sales incentive. It has some other elements that I'm going to discuss, but for example the incentive package which we would all regard as being its primary objective is based around the fact that for every purchaser of fractionals in uh, Indigo Bay, uh, assuming there's going to be 600 of them by the time the project is finished, that is 150 units times four fractionals, that we can use uh, the CYC or the boat as an incentive to the extent that we can offer each buyer in Indigo Bay a, either a week or a portion of a week included in their purchase in Indigo Bay and the basic numbers uh, kind of work out like this. Their raw cost of taking some taking one cabin for a week, our raw cost to provide that service is about $2,000 for the week and the retail value of that for a week is approximately $6,000 including all-inclusive. Now so that means that if we've got six cabins uh, times 50 weeks, that's 300 uh, weeks that we've got available to allocate as incentive packages for the Indigo Bay to be able to offer to their clients to close their deals. The other aspect of that is that, it's that, that, that is based on a week's uh, charter. Now for the term from, from an incentive point of view, it may not be necessary to offer a full week. After all, that's a big chunk of a vacation. That's a real vacation, a week on a boat six nights, seven days, all-inclusive diving, snorkeling, chartering, fishing, you name it, different locations. So that an incentive package might be even reduced further to perhaps two nights and three days, in which case we can accommodate two of those per week. And if we had to service uh, uh, 600 uh, available units in the, ultimately in the Indigo Bay, then we could do that if we were using it for half a week. So. Uh, I guess that's the, the, the primary point I wanted to make, that if we regard the CYC as being a, an adjunct to Indigo Bay, we would, from an incentive point of view, we would be like no other. Uh, we are joined at the hip with Indigo Bay, and that will become apparent in the quality of service that's provided. Now, for most other uh, big, big resorts, if they have a, a, a sailing or a diving or a a water tour aspect to their uh, sale or to their for their clients they just normally pass that out to an, a third party operator for example if you go to any one of these timeshare resorts in Cozumel and you want to go out on a catamaran they simply pass you on the Fury catamarans and they get a good healthy commission for doing so so they have no real interest in developing the relationship between the catamaran clients and the hotel clients it's simply a third party issue now in our case we're going to incorporate them as part of the customer satisfaction process and in so doing we're going to ally these people uh, with Indigo Bay on an ongoing more or less permanent basis so that we have a much bigger advantage in using the boat as an integral part of the service. The second uh, issue that we want to cover with, uh, with CYC is the enjoyment factor and that harkens back to what I just mentioned, that when we're dealing with an enjoyment or an ambience factor, that means that if we are the managers, owners, operators of our waterbound facility or our marine facility, we have a very strong incentive to offer the best, the absolute most enjoy enjoyable uh, experience on the sailing, diving, fishing, uh, water skiing, etc. 
And so because it's an integral part of our, our process, we can afford to allocate marketing uh, um, budget to the actual tours and to the actual boat life for itself. Now that does not take place with any other operators that I've seen. So to that extent, we have a unique situation. Now, um, I wanted to also mention that uh, when uh, third party operators take out uh, timeshare or fractional owner guests, they have no, uh, what's the word for it? They have no incentive to treat them more special than another retail paying client. So when we have these people in house, we have much more control over the positivity, the ambience of the whole uh, process. And when I was operating in uh, uh, Thailand and Malaysia, it became apparent to me that the more memorable the occasion, the more feelings were involved. So in other words, people can remember what they, uh, people do not remember what they read, they do not remember what they saw, but you can guarantee that they will remember what they felt for the rest of their life. So if we control the boat uh, and the marine environment as well as the resort environment, we've got fantastic opportunities to create feelings which will bind these people to the uh, Indigo Bay project for the rest of their lives. That's the basic idea. Now the third leg of this, of course, is financial. And I'm just going to touch on this briefly now because it does require a lot of numbers to, to uh, ascertain the validity of these uh, statements. But there are several issues. If we assume that the boat is an is a overall support mechanism for creating gross sales for Indigo Bay, then be that as it may, we can generate from the, uh, from the wholesale charge for taking an Indigo Bay potential client out for a three-day or a week-long tour, for that minimum wholesale charge, we, if the boat is uh, full with the clients from Indigo Bay, then the boat can sustain itself and pay for its entire overhead from those uh, wholesale charges. There are several other issues though. Number one is that we can sell fractional ownership in the boat itself, which is what we intend to do. Now we're doing the numbers for that right now, and but they are extremely profitable in the same way that fractional ownership is profitable for real estate deals such as the resort. So there's that. The other issue is that if we uh, have fractional owners, to generate income, we can also shell right-to-use packages. Now this is important because these right-to-use packages can be adopted to be used as exit packages for non-buyers from the Indigo Resort presentations. Now that's incredibly important because if we do the good job with an exit package, we have a chance to get back at the cherry several times. Not only that, we're developing a relationship with the client on an ongoing basis, so it's only a matter of time until they actually buy into the resort process itself. So the exit package is something that we would look forward to developing in association with uh, Indigo Bay very closely. The other issue, of course, is that uh, regular charters, both from the resort and from the outside public, are extremely good retail dollars, and they will be, they will be applied to the revenue from the, uh, from the yacht club. So that's the, the three basic premises that we're operating on. Number one, we're a support mechanism for Indigo Bay Resort and sales thereof. Number two, we're going to, incent uh, we're going to increase the enjoyment factor by a factor of 100% for everybody involved in the resort and the boating facility. And number three, the financials are just extremely good because there's so many elements that we can apply because of the relationship with the resort. So that's all I wanted to uh, mention at the moment. I hope that this gives a better idea of our overall packaging and planning and we're looking forward to meeting you in Orlando and in the meantime we'll send any paperwork or any documentation that we can that will be helpful to you so have fun I'm on the beach here in Cozumel and I look forward to meeting you take care bye bye